You're watching the SCAC Player of the Week interviews. It's week five of the 2018-19 SCAC basketball season, and today we're joined by the SCAC Women's Basketball Player of the Week sophomore guard, Mackenzie Gertz of the Colorado College Tigers. And Mackenzie, first of all, congratulations and thanks so much for joining us today. Yeah, thank you for having me. Mackenzie, this Tigers women's basketball program now 4-5 and five on the season, but more importantly 1-0 and in SEAC play coming off your opening conference game of the year last week with a 91-58 victory over Jay Wu. Take me through that win. Very impressive. What was working so well for you and the rest of your teammates in that victory? Well, I think opening up conference play, we were really ready to get going. We had been playing a tough schedule in California. Um, I think especially last year, taking a couple losses from them. We were ready for revenge, and we went in there really excited, really fired up. And I think another thing that got us really excited was getting everybody off the bench and everybody doing good things for us. So it was a really fun, exciting um, game to be a part of. You mentioned the tough non-conference schedule. How much does that help prepare you going into SCAC play, McKenzie? And I guess additionally, what was th was it talked about am amongst the team? Was it a theme just in, t in terms of the importance of getting off to a fast start in conference play? How important was that for this group? Um, I think it's extremely important. I mean, we've got a lot of talent in the SCAC, and you know, I got to experience it firsthand last year for the first time. And I think having a tough preseason schedule only helps us to prepare ourselves and kind of learn what we really need to work on when it does come to conference play in those close games. Um, it also, you know, helps us to really establish that team chemistry that we're learning now that we have four new freshmen here. And yeah, it's just a really good way to get us going and get us started to know what we have to offer and, you know, what we're able to do on the court. Mackenzie, last week you were superb from your guards position. You averaged 12.5 points, 9.3 rebounds, and 1.7 assists per game, including 13 points in that win over Johnson and Wales to open up conference play. Take me through your individual efforts last week. How were you able to be so successful out there on the floor for the Tigers? Well, I mean, like I said earlier, I think everyone had a lot of energy coming in. We really ran the floor well, and we looked for each other. And I think we all really were contributing to that win, and we all took the shots when we needed them, and we worked really hard on our transition scores, which is one of the things that I personally think we're really getting good at this year. Um, so, I mean, to be a part of that was really cool, and I mean, I contributed just as much as everybody else on that court, and it was really exciting, really fun to be a part of. I think everybody brought something to the court that helped us, you know, secure that win. You spoke earlier about uh, the first-hand witnessing of the talent that this league has across the board, McKenzie. Last year as a freshman, you started 26 games. You were named SCAC Newcomer of the Year. Now in your sophomore season, you've had success already, but what's been the biggest difference for you from year one to year two now in your sophomore year? I think just knowing now what is expected of me coming into sophomore year. I think freshman year is a little, you know, it took a lot of adjusting and just kind of getting used to what, um, a college program was about and what you know being in shape really meant and you know coming into sophomore year I think I knew what was expected of me so I kind of knew where I needed to be at coming into the preseason and season and I think you know coach really helped us in the preseason get in really good shape and we've really just started the year off on a good foot and we've been competing really hard in practice and it's really exciting to see um, this year compared to last year. Offensively, McKenzie, this team has had a lot of success early on in this season, currently sitting top three in the SCAC in scoring, field goal percentage, and three-point uh, field goal percentage. What's been the key to that success on that end of the floor this far? Um, I would say that a lot of us players take pride in our offense. Um, we spend a lot of time outside of practice shooting, practicing, and a lot of time in practice shooting at game speed and really getting used to getting the ball to each other and shooting at game speed. So I think now that it's starting to translate in the games and we're learning what works for us now, it's bringing us a lot more success that we didn't exactly see as much last year as compared to this year. And finally, looking ahead, McKenzie, to the weekend. First big SCAC road trip of the season for the Tigers on the road down in Texas at TLU and Southwestern. A big opportunity for this team to continue to grow uh, on the early season momentum you've gained uh, so far through to this point in the season. What are your expectations and what will be key for this group to go down to Texas and try and pick up a couple wins? 
Well, I think first is making sure that we compete for 40 minutes of a game all the way through, you know, really giving the other team a good fight. I think that's one thing we did really well up in Washington this past weekend. You know, even though we didn't see the results we wanted to see, I think everybody gave 40 minutes of everything that they had, and we really gave each team a run for their money. And just that competitiveness and fight will really help us to stay in the game and do what we need to do to secure the wins that we are hoping to get. And just making sure that we're, again, sharing the ball with each other, having good chemistry, and just having fun with it is really going to be key to getting these wins this weekend. Now it's time for the fastest minute in all Division Three athletics. That's right, it's the SCAC 60, a chance for you, SCAC Nation, to get to know your SCAC players of the week a bit better. McKenzie, are you ready? I'm ready. We'll put 60 seconds on the clock, and here we go. McKenzie, what's your favorite cereal? My favorite cereal is probably Cinnamon Toast Crunch. Your current must-watch TV show. Oh, man, this is kind of embarrassing, but it's Grey's Anatomy. <laughs> You have a time machine, McKenzie. Are you going into the future or back to the past? Um, I think I'd go back to the past. What's your favorite uniform combination the Tigers basketball team has? Um, I really like our white uniforms. I think we look really slick. <laughs> Do you have any pregame rituals or routines you must make sure you always go through? Um, I just always make sure to take three deep breaths during the national anthem and just tell myself to relax. What's your favorite holiday slash Christmas movie? Oh, man, uh, The Polar Express, for sure. If your friends could compare you to one animal, what animal would that be? Oh, man, um, I've been told I'm comparable to a meerkat, which is kind of funny. <laughs> and that will wrap up the fastest minute in all of Division Three athletics, the SCAC 60. Again, this week we are joined by the SCAC Women's Basketball Player of the Week, sophomore guard McKenzie Gertz of the Colorado College Tigers. McKenzie, again, congratulations on your honor and best of luck as you continue to move forward throughout your sophomore season. Thank you.